Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lush Gardener. I hope you guys are fine and are safe. So in this video, we are going to be revealing some secrets of uh, Black Prince. Now, I've already spoken about this in the last video that how notorious this succulent is when it comes to moisture in the soil, when it comes to pest attack. It's like a pest magnet tends to attract a lot of pests, especially mealybugs on the succulent as well as in the root. So you need to be extremely careful. Now, there is another secret about this uh, black prince echeveria black prince and that is related with the flowering now remember i said in my last video i'm going to talk a little bit about this variety when it comes to flowering now we all know that echeveria are polycrapic which means that they are or they tend to bloom throughout the year or whenever in their growing season so it blooms in the growing season the blooms are ready if you have not cut the blooms the seeds will be ready again those bloom stalk will die off and then again it is going to tend to put out another bloom this is basically uh, what echeverias are known for because they are polycrapic succulents which means that they tend to uh, put out blooms every now and then and they keep growing but even though this is a variety of echeveria it is an hybrid variety so I'll put the parentage on the screen of uh, Echeveria Black Prince. Now both of the parents are also polycrapic which means that they tend to bloom every year. Every growing season they bloom. The blooms die off and it continues to grow. Uh, typical uh, polycrapic uh, symptoms what an Echeveria has. But of late a lot of people have started saying that their Echeveria Black Prince is putting out death bloom. Now, yes, it is very true. Uh, we don't know exactly what's the reason behind this. I checked on Google and it also said that at times, very rare, Echeverias can also turn out to be monocrapic. Now, that's the secret of this variety. I don't know how does that happen. What is that instigates uh, the Black Prince to put out a death bloom? Uh, now, the next clip that I'm going to be sharing with you guys is uh, one of the Black Prince of my friend. Uh, who recently had this issue with her black prince uh, now the video is almost a year and a half old so i was constantly checking if the uh, succulent did survive or if it didn't survive because that was the first time ever i had seen a black prince putting out a death bloom so this is the video as you can see over here the succulent had a death bloom now when we talk about death bloom the death bloom will always start from the crown area so we all know this is where the crown area is now every polycrapic succulent will never put a bloom on the crown area the blooms are going to be probably uh, either the first or the second row of the crown area uh, it's either going to be on the f on the first like over here as you can see this is the first leaf this is the first leaf so they will probably grow on the second the blooms will grow on the second or on the third uh, line but a death bloom will always grow from the center so i'll quickly put the clip and i'll show you to you what i'm talking about because it's going to be a little confusing for you to understand like this so here as you can see on the screen uh, the death bloom started to coming up from the center of the succulent exactly where the crown area is it started to grow and eventually uh, now the death bloom is not something that is going to like our regular blooms they bloom within a couple of weeks but a death bloom will take around five to six months for it to completely bloom once that five to six months period is completed and once the blooms are all opened up the mother plant will die this is how it works in monocropic succulents but it is very surprising that something like this can happen with a polycrapic succulent as well and especially with a lot of echeverias which are supposed to be polycrapic they do not have any uh, parentage which says that they are monocropic they have these uh, monocropic uh, symptoms now over here as you can see uh, this is the video how it tends to look like uh, you can see the bloom is right in the center and after six months the mother plant uh, died off but again the same thing what works with monocropic succulents whenever a mon monocropic succulent let's say sempervivum sempervivum is a monocropic succulent there are some uh, ioniums that are also monocropic so when they put out this death bloom, the death bloom lasts for five to six months. Within this five to six months, 
the mother plant is going to put out a lot of offsets so before it tends to die off it's going to have or it's going to put out a lot of pups which you can separate within this five to six months period of time and you will have more succulents it's not that you're going to completely lose the succulent it will definitely put out offsets once the offsets have reached a decent size you can separate them probably once they reach two to three centimeters or three to four centimeters you can separate them from the mother plant but this is something really surprising for me as well uh, because I knew that echuarias are polycrapic. They never tend to die after the first bloom. They keep blooming every year, every growing season. But this was something very new about echuaria black prince. Probably we learn every day something new. Probably there is some other succulents as well from the echuaria genus as well, which tend to put out death bloom because I had recently a comment wherein they said the imbricata, which is echuaria genus, also tends to put out death blooms. Now, the reason is unknown. I will have to again check uh, Google for that information. Why does this happen? Because a lot has not been spoken about this. We all know that echuarias are polycrapic. I also had a big debate on Facebook as well, wherein the person was saying that it's impossible for an echuaria to have a death bloom. But here you can see the example right in front. So I wanted to share with you guys as well, because a lot of people are confused that whether an echuaria will get a death bloom. It will get a death bloom, but it is very, very rare. Let's say it's going to be two out of 10, probably. Again, we are not very sure. Uh, I haven't had any death bloom on my Echuaria Black Prince. So I had to take the video from one of my friend who had a death bloom on Echuaria Black Prince. So it takes around five to six months. You do not need to be worried. You will not, you're not going to completely lose the succulent. You will lose the mother plant, but you will definitely have a lot of pups around it, which you can separate and continue with your collection. So I was trying to find some information on Google. I could not find much information. It clearly says that echuarias are not monocropic, but you just seen an example. Again, it is not a very common thing. It's not that every echuaria black prince is going to have a death bloom. It's a very rare scenario. We are not very sure. Probably someday when I'm doing a little bit more research about this. I so maybe then I can get a fair idea about it. I had read this article long back. I'm not able to find that article once again, but it did say that uh, it's very uncommon for echuarias to have a death bloom, but there is a very small, slight little possibility that it can have a death bloom. So guys, I hope that you liked this video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing to it. Until then, take care, stay safe and keep propagating.